Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Adding polynomials. What well, the key point here, what we want to do is we want to try to remove brackets. Because separating the two sets of brackets is an addition sign, we can just outright remove the brackets. In other words, we can rewrite this entire expression as follows. x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay, um, so we can remove the brackets here. It's a positive 2x squared because Remember, the brackets does not, or sorry, the uh, addition sign outside of the brackets does not change any of the value within the brackets. 2x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now, when adding polynomials, another key concept that you must keep in mind is to collect like terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to underline our like terms. x squared, even though we're using x, these two, x squared and 4x, are not considered like terms. Variables must have the same, um, must have the same exponent in order to be considered like terms. So x squared is a like term with positive 2x squared positive 4x, and notice how I'm taking the sign in front with us when I'm treating, uh, collecting the like terms. So positive 4x is a like term with negative 6x. Negative 2 is a like term with positive 9. Notice here how the exponent, or sorry, the, um, the variable here is x squared, x squared. Okay, when we're collecting like terms, Remember that like terms have the same variable and exponent. Okay, if it doesn't have an exponent or it doesn't have a variable, that's a constant like this minus 2 and this positive 9. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this. And notice here how I underlined the like terms. So one underline. For, the, for one set of like terms, two lines for a second set of like terms, and three lines for my third set of underlined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all my single lined, all my double lined, and all my triple lined uh, terms. So this x squared with my positive 2x squared. Positive 4x with my negative 6x. Negative 2 with my positive 9. And notice here what I did when I collected my like terms. Here's my one lined like terms. Here are my double lined like terms. And here are my triple lined like terms. And this is a great way to follow along and to be able to identify really what my like terms are. So now I can actually combine my like terms. And the key is when you are collecting like terms, the variable never changes. Okay, so in other words, I'm really, the variable in this expression is gonna be 2x, sorry, it's x squared. Really what I'm going around, what I'm doing is I'm just adding my numerical coefficients. So in other words, we're just adding our numerical coefficients and we're keeping the variable as is, okay? So the variable in this expression is x squared. We keep the x squared and we're just adding our numericals. Same thing with our next expression. It's just x, but now we have positive four subtracted by six, it's gonna give me a negative 2, but what's the, the like term in this? It is x. And then here, since they are just numericals, negative 2 
plus 9 will just give us positive 7. So you want to write this a little bit neater. So what you want to do is join them all together. Keep in mind that when we are adding polynomials, we want to remove the brackets, but we can simply just remove them because the plus sign does not change any of the value inside of the brackets. And when we are adding like terms, remember that the, that the variable never changes. So x squared is our variable here. x is our variable here. And here there is no variable, so it's just a constant.